Dial Kevin now at 888-99-KEVIN. 888-995-3846. Now, we just had John Rappaport on uh, from nomorefakenews.com. 20-year investigative reporter. He's in his 60s now. He's been around the block a few times. He knows what he's talking about. He said and pointed out the same things I'm saying, giving the references, giving the research, giving the documentation, telling you exactly where this data comes from. We're just not making this up. This is real factual stuff. Documented, substantiated, factual. Drugs, we're talking non-prescription. That, that, that's the stuff you buy in the drugstore. Your Theraflus, your Tylenol, your aspirin, your Advil, your uh, Afrin for your nasal decongestion, your Sudafeds, anything you buy in the drugstore, plus prescription medication. People take this in the appropriate dose. They're following the instructions or they're following orders of their doctor. I love that. Doctor's orders. You have to follow the doctor's orders. He's the doctor. He's not God. He's a doctor. He's not God. And if you go to five different doctors, you're going to get five different opinions. They're not gods. They don't give orders. They give their opinion based only on what they know, and they don't know everything. Remember that. Some of them are very well-meaning, yes, but they don't know it all. They only know what they've been taught, and they also know that if they go off the party line, they could lose their job. They could lose their medical license. So they have a conflict of interest. Drugs kill, we know. Over 100,000 people a year die from taking a prescription or a non-prescription drug in the correct dose. That is documented factual evidence. That's a million people in the last 10 years killed by Big Pharma. And they haven't saved a million people's lives, folks. These drugs are killing people. They're making Big Pharma billions of dollars and the biggest brainwashing scam in the history of America is coming up called global warming. But up until now, the biggest brainwashing, mass brainwashing, mass hypnosis scam is that you think and you believe that drugs and medical doctors are necessary for you to be healthy and live a long, healthy life. And that's categorically not true. Drugs and surgery and doctors are great in crisis situations. You fall off a ladder and break your leg, go to the emergency room and have a medical doctor set it. If you're cut open because you fell on a, on a ladder and you're ripped apart bleeding, you may need stitches, that's going to save your life. Yes. Thank God we have that. If you're very elderly and you need a hip replacement, which is going to increase the quality of your life and your senior years, well, that's probably good too. Drugs and surgery are not going to keep you healthy. They're only for crisis situations. Big Pharma kills yet another well-known celebrity. These people we talk about because they're celebrities, but we know there's over 100,000 of them. The actress, Brittany Murphy, died of a heart attack. She was 32 years old in perfect health. Nothing wrong with her. She had the symptoms of a flu. Actually, she didn't have a flu. She just had the symptoms of a flu. She went to her medical doctor. Medical doctor gave her a bunch of drugs to take. So she took these drugs in the appropriate dose and dropped dead of a heart attack. The drugs killed her. She didn't do anything wrong. She followed doctor's orders. But the drugs say one of the potential side effects is death. Heck, if you're a gal taking a, a birth control pill, one of the side effects is death. Thousands of women die every year because they take birth control pills. The birth control pills kill them. This year, Heath Ledger was killed by pharmaceutical drugs. Patrick Swayze died of pharmaceutical drugs. Bernie Mac, Michael Jackson, Farrah Fawcett, Tony Snow, Tim Russett, Peter Jennings, the list goes on and on, of celebrities who are following doctors' orders. Oh, and healthcare, healthcare bill. I, I, 
gotta, I gotta go down this road a little bit because what is coming, and I have been saying something on this show that very few people have been saying, but John Rappaport confirmed, and he's an insider, no more fake news.com. He knows, he's publishing all the stuff. Investigative reporter for years, published everywhere around the world, and now is re- re- revealing the truth. And he's, and he said, look, I've, I've been told for years to hold back the truth, but now I can't. I have to tell people the real news because the news is fake. 